Hello and welcome back to our course. So in this session we are now adopting our solver or optimization function that we created in the Python standard library solution to our NumPy code. So first of all let's import NumPy and also we define our sticker album NumPy function. And I already copied the code from the respective session of our Python standard library solution and now I paste it here into our NumPy notebook. So this is uh, the optimize function that we defined earlier. So if you have the feeling that you cannot uh, really remember the intuition behind our optimize function, feel free to review part four, five and seven of our Python standard library solution. Yeah, and there are actually only minor things we have to change here. First, we have to add uh, the argument pool to the function. So let's set uh, the default argument to one. Second, we need to change our inner function uh, as we want to call our NumPy sticker album function. So it's here NP. And also here we have to introduce um, the pool. Pool equals uh, pool as here defined above in our optimize function. And also we should add here the low and the high percentile in our inner function. So. Let's copy it from here. So theoretically uh, we can optimize for each of our summary statistics. So for the median or for the high or low percentile. For example, we can say that please return me the amount of stickers I need uh, to purchase if I want to have the chance of 50% to get at least 550 unique stickers. And in this case, we are using uh, the median, so chance of 50%. But we could also say, I want to be 95% sure that I get 550 unique stickers. So how many stickers do I need to buy? And yeah, in this case, we should use uh, the fifth percentile. But now for the time being, we only want to work with uh, the median. And therefore we select uh, the median at index position one of uh, the results tuple. So we select uh, the median. So later we will uh, relax um, this assumption here and will work with um, the low percentile, the median and the high percentile. And last but not least, we can change here the number of simulations to uh, let's say 500. So our NumPy code is much faster, so we can uh, therefore increase uh, the amount of simulations. And also we can enable here the print of the intermediate um, results. So maybe later if we yeah, check if the function here works, we can have a look at the intermediate results and understand why yeah, something is working or not working actually. Yeah, now we can run and define our optimize function. And now we can make uh, some stress testings if our optimize function yeah, works for all cases. And we start with our base case. So album capacity of 600, our target is 550. So we are on the moderate part of the curve. And uh, let's see what we get here. So after 10 iterations, we end up uh, with 1,484 stickers we need to buy to end up at a median of 550 unique stickers. And now let's move to the steep part of the curve. So our target is only 100. Yeah, and there you can see that we got an error message. And uh, here it says negative dimensions are not allowed. So, so we had the problem before in our Python standard library solution. So that in the steep part of the curve, maybe the learning rate is too high. And yeah, if we change the learning rate or if we reduce the learning rate to let's say two, then now we reach here 9901. So it's, it jumps between 99 and 101. So maybe we can further reduce the learning rate. And here we end up with 109 stickers we need to purchase in order to have a median value of 100 unique stickers. And let's also check um, the flat part of the curve. So our target is 599. Yeah, and in the end here you can see it's getting very slow. 
Yeah, and we do not uh, reach our target of 599 because we are too slow here, so the learning rate is too, uh, too low. And in this case, we could increase the learning rate to, say, 10. And here we are, so we need uh, 3,490 stickers to be 50% certain or sure that we get 599 unique stickers. Yeah, and this was um, actually the finding of our Python standard library solution that uh, the optimal learning rate is in the interval 1 to 10. And um, yeah, in most cases, the default learning rate of 4 works. But uh, yeah, sometimes we have to increase or decrease in the interval 1 to 10 in order to get a reasonable result. So now let's check if this also applies and works for a pool which is higher than 1. So let's uh, try a pool of 10. And we start at the moderate part of the curve. Our target is 550. And this is quite quick actually. After six iterations, we end up with uh, 664 stickers we need to purchase. And then we can also go to this deep part of the curve. So our target is only 100 unique stickers. And here Python drops us an error message. So I think we should reduce um, the learning rate to 1. And here we are, after only three iterations, we end at uh, yeah, 100 uh, stickers we need to purchase in order to have a median of uh, 100 unique. And we can also try the flat part of the curve and set a target to 599. And in this case, also the learning rate of 4 does um, the job very well. Because um, yeah, once we increase the pool, the curve is getting more steep and then less curved. So with a higher pool, we do not have to increase our learning rate to 10, let's say. And let's further increase um, the pool to 1000. And yeah, I'm not really sure if we are still on the moderate part of the curve because we learned that if we further increase uh, the pool to infinity, we get a straight line. So that's why I have here the question mark after moderate and also the curve in quotation marks, but uh, let's see what we get. Yeah, in this case, uh, yeah, I can see here, so we are getting nowhere actually and jumping around. So as our curve is, is quite steep now and quite linear, as our pool is 1000, maybe the learning rate of four, the default learning rate, is too high, so we have to change it maybe to 1. And here we are, after only two iterations, we end up with uh, 550 stickers. And let's try also a target of 100 stickers. And again here we get an error message, so we have to change the learning rate to 1. And no surprise, uh, we need to buy 100 stickers to get uh, 100 unique stickers. And last but not least, let's also try a target of 599. Yeah, also here we end up with 600, but not getting f away from 600. So maybe also we have to change the learning rate here. And there we are at 622 stickers. So we can summarize uh, that uh, the optimize function works as well with our NumPy code. And uh, the only thing a informed user must keep in mind is that uh, the optimal learning rate is in the interval 1 to 10 and uh, that if uh, the result is not reasonable one has to increase or decrease the learning rate from the default value 4 and with pooling the general rule is um, that the more we increase uh, the pool the closer we get to 1 as the optimal value for the learning rate. All right so there's one thing left uh, that we have to change in our optimize function so far we use only the median for our optimize function, however our sticker album function returns us a tuple of three values, so the low percentile, the median and the high percentile. And we should also enable our optimize function to do this actually. 
in order to answer questions like how many stickers do I have to buy to have a chance of say 25% to get 550 unique stickers or 5% or 10% chance. So far with median, we can only check for 50% chance of getting yeah, at least 550 unique stickers. Therefore, we have to index our inner function here. So depending whether we want the low percentile at index position zero, the median at index position one, or the high percentile at index position two. And in the function header, we introduce um, the argument metric and uh, there are three alternatives. So median, low percentile and high percentile. And then in a the function body, we introduce here an if and elif statement to check which uh, metric was passed here in the function header. And then we accordingly set uh, the index to 1 for median, 0 for low percentile, and 2 for high percentile. And also here in our inner function, we should uh, set here low percentile as uh, low percentile as defined here in the optimize function. And also here the high percentile. All right, so now let's run here and define our optimize function. Okay, let's go back to our base case with the album capacity 600 and when we use in the optimize function and get a certain amount of stickers we need to purchase, we can never be 100% sure or certain that this will in fact be sufficient to reach our target. So depending on our metric, we can only say that we have a chance of 25% or 50% or 75% or whatever that we reach our target. But in fact, uh, we never reach 100% uh, certainty. So this is kind of a probabilistic approach. And in the end, we have to choose our metric or level of certainty depending on our attitude towards uh, risk and chance. And uh, yeah, this is from person to person and from situation to situation different. So there's no, no right or wrong, actually. All right, so let's start with a target of 550 and a, our metric is the low percentile of uh, 25. So this means, yeah, we want to have a chance of 75% to get at least 550 unique stickers or to say it the other way around, we only want to have a risk of 25% uh, to get uh, less than our target. So let's see what we get. So we get here 1,536 stickers we need to purchase. And we can also here in our optimize function now cross out uh, the printing of the intermediate results. And we can also double check. So we can call now our sticker album function um, with uh, stickers 1,436 and the low percentile of 25. And yeah, this should give us in the low percentile 550 so just to double check if our optimize function really works and here we are 550 now let's say we change our attitude towards yeah, chance and risk and uh, yeah we only want to have a chance of 50 percent to get at least uh, 550 unique stickers or to say the, the other way around to have a risk of uh, 50 percent to get less than 550 so we use uh, the median as metric. And we get 1,488. So let's double check. So we have here 550 in the median. And we can further change our attitude towards risk and chance and we say it's okay for us if we have at least a 25% chance to get 550 unique stickers. So there's a risk of 75% uh, that we do not reach the target. But maybe a 25% probability to reach the target is in this case enough. So we set uh, the metric to high percentile. Set the high percentile to 75. And we get 1440. So let's also double check with our sticker album function. Here we have in the high percentile 550. Yeah, and in the end you can see that it depends on our attitude towards risk, how many stickers we should buy, yeah, at least in the first round. So if we are risk averse, um, yeah, we should buy 1536. 
and we are more focused on, on chances or opportunities, uh, then we should buy 1,440. So there's a not too small difference of 100 stickers. All right, so let's move to our final case study. And we assume that we have an album with 476 uh, stickers capacity. And yeah, first of all, our target is to reach uh, 476 uh, with 50% uh, uh, certainty. And we assume that uh, we do not exchange duplicates, so we do not form a pool with others. And also we do not order the last uh, 50 stickers, so the capacity is 476. And our target is 476. And uh, yeah, as we are on the very flat side of the curve, we set learning rate to 10. Let's see what we get. Yeah, in this case, yeah, we should buy 3,131 stickers to have a chance of at least 50% to reach our target. So in the next step, uh, we say that, okay, we know that we can order the last 50 stickers from the vendor of uh, the sticker album. So we set our target to 426. Yeah, and only in this step uh, we can reduce the amount of stickers we need to purchase by yeah, 2,000 or by the factor 3. That's uh, yeah, amazing, actually. And last but not least, we could manage to form a pool with uh, two friends uh, that are also collecting um, the stickers of the album. And so we have a pool of three. Target stays at 426 and we use uh, the median. And we reduce uh, the learning rate to two because we know the more we increase uh, the pool, the lower the optimal learning rate. And now we can see here we can further reduce uh, the amount of stickers to 654 plus 50. The last 50, of course, we have also to buy and order. So we end up with about 700. And last but not least, we say that by ordering 654 stickers, there's a chance of 50% that we reach our target. But um, this also means that in 50% of all cases, we purchase too much stickers because we had luck. So first of all, it's okay for us to have a chance at least of 10% to reach our target. And uh, if we do not reach our target, we can buy some more stickers or exchange some duplicates with another collector or also over an online community and so on. So here we change our attitude towards risk and say we set uh, the metric to high percentile and uh, high percentile equals 90. So at least we have a chance of 10% to reach our target of 426. And there we end up with uh, 638 stickers. So each person in our pool uh, should, at least in the first round, uh, buy 638 stickers. And if you compare it to our initial result, where we had 3131, that's a tremendous uh, improvement. All right, so now we are finished. And yeah, there are many, many more things we can analyze. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have fun to make your own analysis. And yeah, I hope to see you again. Bye.